Fox 14, the right news at the right time. And the Spirit of Community Award winner. This is Fox 14 News at 9. Parents of kids who were allegedly abused by workers at Assembly Kids Daycare speak out. We'll share what they have to say since the state's announcement. And another mosquito pool test positive for West Nile will tell you where parish officials say it's located. Plus, a project to protect areas of Franklin Parish from flooding is close to complete. We'll talk about the plans and hear from residents who welcome the release. Thank you for choosing Fox 14. I'm Sarah Scarlett. First on Fox, back in May, we brought you the exclusive interview with a mom who said her child had been abused at the Assembly Kids Care in West Monroe. Now, months later, we learned that several children have been abused. Fox 14's Chelsea Jones sat down with yet another mother as she tells us what happened to her four-year-old baby boy. Chelsea, I hear this unfortunate incident has her on a mission. That's exactly right, Sarah. This mother is just one of many, and she says she wants parents to do extensive research before choosing a daycare because, sadly, you never know who's watching your kids. I still think about it every day. Heather Dampier says her four-year-old son had been going to the Assembly Kids Care since he was eight weeks old. She says it was a different time back then. But just last month, things proved to be a lot different when this woman was arrested for cruelty to juveniles. Damp your son being one of the victims. He was going to the bathroom um, and she she got aggravated with him and drug him back to his mat. The daycare didn't even tell her about the incident until days later. Another parent actually saw this happening and reported it and I don't know who she is but I'm so thankful for her. Now this isn't the first instance of child abuse at Assembly Kids Care. This is video from another incident with another teacher and another child. The daycare has since lost its license as it has, quote, proven unable to protect our kids, according to the state superintendent. The daycare has posted signs on its doors saying it will continue to support children with excellent care and wanted to remind parents that nothing has changed as far as the safety and security of children. But Dampier believes more security from windows and classroom doors to hall monitors or simply better management could have prevented each case of abuse. Nothing would be perfect, but I feel like more staff would have been very helpful in prevention. While the abuse has shaken up her world, she says she hurts for all the parents that will be affected with whatever happens to the daycare. Dampier warns parents to be more mindful of the daycares you choose. Now, although Assembly Kids Care has not reached out to check in on Damper or her child, she says she's not going to sue. She says her child is her priority and she wants him to get the help he needs so he can move past this situation. In the studio, Chelsea Jones, Fox 14 News. Thanks a lot, Chelsea. A multi-jurisdictional investigation is underway into the explosion at Cloyd's Beauty School. A device exploded outside of the school yesterday afternoon around 3, and at least one person was injured and taken to a hospital. Monroe police are asking homeowners and businesses nearby to check their surveillance systems over the past 72 hours. Now, if you spot any suspicious activity of anyone, or if anyone has any information on this incident, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. Now onto a health alert. A mosquito pool in Sterlington tested positive for West Nile virus. The Department of Health and Hospitals reports the mosquito pools were collected between September 4th and 6th. The positive mosquito pool is located in Sterlington near Davis Street. The affected area will be treated by ground tonight and Monday the 16th. In news from the state capitol, Louisiana's latest surplus will be larger than expected, reaching $500 million instead of $300 million. Chief Budget Advisor Jay Darden says Louisiana closed the books on the last budget year that ended in June, June 30th with larger than expected personal income and corporate tax collections. Lawmakers disagreed about whether the news is a sign of a strong economy or the result of President Donald Trump's tax changes or an indication that residents are paying too much in taxes. Surpluses can only be used for savings, debt payments, and construction work. Frequent flooding may soon be a thing of the past for Franklin Parish residents. The Boggy Bayou Drainage Project is nearing completion, creating a better functioning drainage system for folks in the area. Fox 14's Anna McAllister has the story. Dorothy Wynn has lived in Winsboro all her life. She's even lived in the same home for almost 43 years. It's here where she's made so many of her lifelong memories, both good and bad. Well, my spirit experience has been here. It's been wonderful until the floods. For Wynn, 
When it rains, it really pours. Her home has been severely flooded more times than she can count on hand. The last time, it was four feet in my house. Totally gutted out, totally. I've done that twice. And the repairs didn't come cheap. Wynn had to shell out $60,000 and lost everything. Luckily for Wynn, the parish has been working diligently to fix their drainage system. The Boggy Bayou Project, the latest to near completion. It's a low area. Therefore, the water always accumulates there. So the only way we can accommodate that was to open up the drainage, which was had been uh, sluggish or uh, stopped up. Franklin Parish Police Juror Leroy Scott says construction workers are digging into the canals to make the drainage system more effective. But that's not all. They did uh, have those houses elevated. They elevate the house about five feet. One resident who's already had the lift, Dorothy Wynn. The project that lift my house, oh, I praise God for it all the time. Wynn says she hasn't had any flooding since her home has been lifted and the drainage construction has begun. Reporting in Franklin Parish, Adam McAllister, Fox 14 News. The project costs more than $760,000. Scott says it's expected to be completed near Christmas time. New at 9, Monroe City Schools have new sex ed curriculum, according to our partners at the News Star. The school board voted to allow a one-week adolescent reproductive health curriculum. It will be piloted in the 8th grade classrooms. The evidence-based curriculum was reviewed and recommended by the board curriculum committee, and parents appointed by board members served on a review panel. The five lessons will be taught by a registered nurse. Washita Parish has some of the highest STD rates in the state. Parents can opt out if they do not want their child to participate. Folks in El Dorado are gearing up for the walk to end Alzheimer's tomorrow. This is the second year El Dorado has hosted the walk in South Arkansas. Last year, the community met the $20,000 goal before the big day. This year, event coordinators hope to exceed that amount. Registration begins at 9 in the morning, and there will be a ceremony at 10. They're looking for volunteers tomorrow, so if you're interested, show up at the Murphy, Ar excuse me, Murphy Arts District between 6 and 8 in the morning. Three students from El Dorado High School were recently named National Merit semifinalists. Aiden Price, Scott Ratchford, and Lauren Utch were recognized among 16,000 semifinalists from across the nation. They were selected by the National Merit Scholarship Corporation. The recognition is based on their PSAT's test scores from their junior year. Aiden and Scott are currently in their senior year of high school. Lauren graduated early with the class of 2019 and is attending Brigham Young University. It's difficult. Being in the top 1% of the PSAT is, um, you, you've got to really score well. Well, they'll all apply to become a finalist, and if selected, they'll receive a $2,500 scholarship. And now Jerry joins us from the Weather Center. For people that are out at football games, what can they expect right now? Well, they're going to be warm, mm -hmm. and uh, they've been warm since, well, they got there. <laughs> and uh, we'll expect more of the same this weekend. Full look at the forecast is next on Fox. Also coming up on Fox 14, poverty numbers are down according to the latest census report. But that's not the case for the South. More on why health care could be a factor. And Google Earth cracks a decades-old missing persons case. We'll have more on the bizarre story. All that and more is up next on Fox 14 News at 9. News, sponsored by Marie's Medical. It's another march through the playoffs, and your Go Black and Gold team is tracking the Houdat the whole way. Tune in as we break down the plays, matchups, and reports from inside the locker room. Then sound off and make your opinion heard as we Go Black and Gold tonight at 9.30 on Fox 14. Brought to you by Go Auto. Get the six-minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on Fox 14, keeping you and your family safe. Brought to you by Eorum Young Law, the bankruptcy specialist. Let's start by being honest with each other. Okay, Ralph, let's do that. When he ran for Congress, Ralph Abraham promised to donate his entire salary to charity. I will take a salary, but I will donate it to charity. But instead of going to help sick kids and wounded veterans, Abraham pocketed that salary, even though he's worth more than $12 million. Let's start by being honest with each other. Okay, Ralph, that starts with you. Paid for and authorized by Gumbo Pack. Whether it's time to get to work or to your weekend, make sure it's all quality time. Get to Nissan Truck Month and save big on a J.D. Power award-winning truck, including Titan, best in quality, and Frontier, best in dependability. 
both with the tech you want and the quality you need. Hurry in to Nissan Truck Month today. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus cash back and the Midnight Edition package at no extra charge. Current local Senate voter polls say the number one issue is jobs. Senator Jim Fannin is the candidate with the best voting record for jobs. His opponent, State Rep. Jay Morris, has a job-killing legislative record. Fannin's voting record has earned him the endorsements of business and industry, the timber, pulp, and paper industry, the oil and gas industry, home builders, and contractors. Senator Jim Fannin, the candidate with the best voting record for jobs and working families. It's Interstate Hyundai's Hope on Wheels. With every new vehicle sold, we donate $100 to cure pediatric cancer. Together, that's over $160 million. A Santa Fe, $23,880. A Tucson, $19,880. A Kona, $18,880. A Velocitor, $18,880. A Sonata, $17,880. And an Elantra, $17,880. And the all-new Palisade is here. You're supporting Hope on Wheels where it doesn't take a big payday to buy an interstate Hyundai in West Monroe. Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, Storm Tracker Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd. Take a look at the new live storm tracker Doppler radar brought to you by E. Orem Young. That's all ground clutter around the radar site at this hour. Of course, uh, not a whole lot for us to work with here in the short term. So we're expecting most locations to continue to stay hot and relatively humid uh, through this uh, weekend. Winds are out of the northeast, so we've got some drier air piping in from time to time. It didn't keep us from seeing a few very isolated showers from the course uh, through the course of the afternoon. And that could be uh, kind of the same thing that can be expected over the next several afternoons. A big cold front continuing to move through portions of uh, the central uh, portions of Arkansas and back into western parts of the state. It's a big boundary, but it doesn't make a big difference overall in our forecast. That frontal boundary will sag southward and kind of drape across the area as we go into the day tomorrow. Winds will continue out of the east and northeast, so still relatively dry air, but with the lift in the atmosphere, can't rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm. Uh, across the Atlantic and uh, the, uh, the tropics, of course, we continue to keep an eye on what's going on during really, quite frankly, the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season. Labor Day weekend and uh, really the first half of the month of September those are the, the, the two or three week stretch that is really the busiest time of the year, uh, statistically, as far as the, uh, the Atlantic Basin is concerned. So here's Tropical Depression 9. Uh, most of the thunderstorm activity on the eastern half of this uh, organized system for the time being, continuing to move to the northwest at about eight miles per hour. The forecast cone really doesn't call for any impacts uh, from much of the southeastern United States, uh, now calling for a recurve of what will eventually be Hurricane Umberto uh, moving out to uh, into the open central Atlantic. We'll keep an eye out on Bermuda uh, just in case uh, that small island can be impacted. But at this point, it looks like uh, the southeastern U.S. will get some limited impacts, some maybe rainfall, maybe some rip currents from this system, but uh, it'll take a hard right turn, or at least that's uh, the way it's looking for now. Most of us in the low to mid-80s at this hour, some upper 70s sprinkled in here or there. We'll look for lows tonight in the low 70s under clear skies with a light northeasterly breeze. Mid to upper 90s for highs tomorrow. Rain chances uh, limited, about a 10 percent shot through the course of the day. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Rain chances are very limited and that spells limited relief in terms of any uh, break from the heat. Highs will stay in the mid to upper 90s with morning lows generally in the low to mid 70s over the next seven days. Definitely doesn't feel like late uh, mid to late September across the region, but uh, those are the cards were dealt. Make sure that you're practicing heat safety over the next several days. Okay, thanks a lot, Jared. You bet. A rival woman needs help from the community as she takes care of more than two dozen stray cats in her backyard. Fox 14's Hunter Elise has more on the story. It's a story of love. They know I really love them. They know this is what, you know, I love to do with my life. This is what keeps me going. A story of hope. I mean, I think they're happy, but I think they would enjoy a nice comfy inside home, you know. Somewhere nice and cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Charlene Mercer cares for 28 cats right in her own backyard. They range in age from four and a half months to nine years old. She created a Facebook group for the cats and posted a PayPal link for people to donate money to get them help. I would like to, if possible, get some help maybe with spay and neuter and try to get some of them adopted out. I have adopted a few out over the last little while. 
Charlene has been taking care of cats at her house for 15 years and just wants to find them a proper home. Each morning, she wakes up to feed the cats and gives them fresh water. They lounge around throughout the day until she feeds them again around dinner time. Charlene wants to find these cats a home and a place where they will feel loved, safe, and secure. I, I do. I love them all. Everybody asked this, are you ready to try to, to do this to get rid of some? I said, look, I said, it's going to hurt me. I said, but I'm, I need to do what's best for them. In Rayville, Hunter Elise, Fox 14 News. Coming up on Fox 14, President Trump takes a stand against vaping. We'll tell you about a new enforcement proposal that he's announced that has e-cig makers feeling the heat. You want a quality pre-owned vehicle? Then shop CarTown, where each car has been run through a 50-point inspection process and comes with a two-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Quality vehicles at affordable prices is what CarTown has been doing for more than 50 years. Shop us at usedcargiants.com. Man, this TV's lame. Hey guys, you need a breakthrough with the low payment finder from Cons Home Plus. Good credit or building it, it finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Whoa! Bad calls? Not here at Interstate in West Monroe. It's Ram Power Days where we're passing out great deals without the interference. A Ram 1500 Quad Cab 22990, a Cherokee 18990, a Compass 17990, a Renegade 16990, a Journey 16990. The all new Gladiator is 5000 off. And a Ram 2500, heavy duty 9000 off. Shop interstatedodge.com. No slides? You're the real winner at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Monroe. Six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to GMC and get over 10,000 total value on this next generation Sierra. See your Monroe area GMC dealer. Governor John Bell Edwards is releasing the state's unemployment report, and the results show Louisiana has made huge progress. The lowest unemployment rate in 11 years. One of the biggest economic development announcements in state history. More than $2.5 billion. 2,000 new jobs. $250 million facility. 600 construction jobs. CenturyLink is staying put. Thousands of jobs in the future. Governor Edwards, as the past year, shows the highest GDP and personal income in our state's history. CashNetUSA.com, man. I help when money's tight. If approved, you may get the money you need as soon as tomorrow. Ha, ha. Apply now at CashNetUSA.com. Money's on the way with CashNetUSA. Ryan Chevrolet's million dollar truck and SUV sale has launched. You choose. Save 11,000 off new Silverado 1500s or 2500s. That's 11,000 off Silverado 1500s or 2500s. Shop a great selection of Silverados in stock. Buy today and get 11,000 off Silverados. Shop one of North Louisiana's largest Chevrolet and used car inventories online at RyanChevy.com or on Oliver Road in Monroe. Ryan Chevrolet, the number one Chevy truck and SUV dealer in Northeast Louisiana. Hi, folks. CarTown's been on Louisville Avenue for over 50 years, taking care of all your vehicle needs. And with over 200 in stock, it's a great time to shop usedcargiants.com or come see us at the foot of Louisville Bridge, Monroe, West Monroe. Fox 14 News at 9 continues. The West Monroe Chamber of Commerce welcomed a new business to the city this morning. Elevate Vape Shop and Botanical Bar is opening their doors at a time when vaping is under serious scrutiny. Isabel Albritton spoke with the owners about being in an industry that's under fire. Although vaping products have been getting a negative reputation, Tim and Jody Thompson say they still believe it's a better option than smoking cigarettes. That's why the couple has opened up their own shop in West Monroe to offer people alternatives. 500,000 people a year die of smoking. They say that we've had five or six fatalities from vape juice or vaping, yet the articles don't mention anything about what was vaped, how it was vaped, or anything like that. Tim says customers should always buy their products from a credible establishment, which is what Elevate offers to the area. We have all ranges of nicotine and flavors 
to try to help somebody quit smoking, whether they're a two pack a day or a half pack a day, they smoke lights, you know, whatever it is, we have an alternative for them to get off of. Along with vaping products, Elevate also offers botanical products. I mean, it's everything that we have that doesn't have any nicotine or tobacco in it. These products contain CBD and kava. This is what helps consumers feel more relaxed or energized. We also have wellness products. Um, we have a product that helps, like, if you need to do a cleanse, like a body cleanse, we have a pro product that we carry for that. We also carry elderberry syrup, which is really good for, you know, when it's starting to get into flu season and things like that. Like Jody says product education is Elevate's number one priority. Just, just make sure that when they leave that they know what they bought. In West Monroe, Isabel Alberton, Fox 14 News. In the meantime, President Trump wants new recommendations for e-cigarettes. The president spoke on the controversy surrounding vaping earlier this week. He announced a new enforcement proposal that would require e-cigarette companies to take their flavored products off of the market. Very big business, as I understand it, like a giant business in a very short period of time. But we can't allow people to get sick. The announcement comes after six people in the United States died from lung disease, possibly linked to vaping. Hundreds of others are sick. Federal and state health officials are investigating the outbreak. The American Heart Association announced its support of Trump's recommendations. The dive boat Conception is back on land today. A tugboat pulling in the wreckage early this morning. The Conception is now dry docked on the port of Wainimi as the investigation goes on. The boat caught fire September 2nd, killing 34 passengers. All of the victims' remains have been recovered. Police have not said whether they plan to move the boat to another location. Florida police credit Google Earth for cracking a decades-old missing persons case. An unidentified man says he was viewing aerials of his former neighborhood on Google Earth. That's when he discovered an image of a submerged car in a pond situated behind a property in West Palm Beach. The man contacted the property owner, who used a drone to confirm what the man had seen. Police were called in and pulled the car out and found the remains of William Moult. Moult was reported missing in 1997 by his girlfriend. He was last seen entering his vehicle after after a night out at a local club. Residents in the area say they are shocked at the find. The victim's family has been informed of the discovery of his remains. The number of Americans living in poverty has finally gone down to the level it was before the Great Recession of 2008. That's the word from the annual census poverty report. However, the South is the only region to not see a decline in poverty. Washington correspondent Jesse Turner reports. The thing that moves more people into poverty is medical expenses. Jane Adams is a policy analyst for Bread for the World. Last year it moved 8 million people into poverty. Adams says that's why many voters and presidential candidates continue to focus on health care. What they want is access to health care. I think the Obamacare worked. Providing health care to every man, woman, and child. Adams says the newly released annual census poverty report shows the overall poverty rate has dropped to the levels before the 2008 recession. But the report also shows the first decline in in health insurance since the passage of the Affordable Care Act. The hardest hit area is the South, where the poverty rate is also the highest and getting worse, not better. When you don't have access to affordable health care and when you don't have access to you know, good doctors and good health insurance, you are more likely to be food insecure. You're more likely to really struggle to make ends meet. The report shows millions of Americans lost access to Medicaid, not private insurance. So these are people who are really vulnerable, who have complex medical disorders or are very, very poor children. To get coverage levels back on track, Adam says many of these states need to be more proactive in the insurance enrollment process and expand Medicaid. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. Up next, Jared has one last look at your seven-day forecast. That's next on Fox 14. Stay with us. How would you like to consolidate your credit card bills, all loans, medical bills, all your bills into one payment of just $100 per month? That's the power of bankruptcy. If you qualify, just $100 per month. Call the bankruptcy specialist, E. Oram Young. This fall, book two separate qualifying stays at choicehotels.com and earn a free night. Because when your business is rewarding yourself, our business is you. Book direct at choicehotels.com. Cracker Barrel makes every meal one to remember. With favorites like Sunday Homestyle Chicken now available every day. And our new Sweet and Smoky Homestyle Chicken BLT for $8.99. Come on home to Scratch Made. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. I'm Tim Temple, and I'm running for insurance commissioner. I've spent my life in the insurance business. As a licensed local agent, I work to make sure Louisiana families, like yours and mine, were covered. 
And when the BP oil spill hit, I helped local businesses recover. But insurance in our state is broken. We pay twice the national average. Clueless career politicians got us into this mess. We need a professional to fix it. I'm Tim Temple, your insurance guy for insurance commissioner. Bad calls? Not here at Interstate West Monroe. It's Ram Power Days where we're passing out great deals without the interference. A Ram 1500 Quad Cab, $22,990. A Cherokee, $18,990. A Compass, $17,990. A Renegade, $16,990. A Journey, $16,990. The all-new Gladiator is $5,000 off. And a Ram 2500, heavy duty, $9,000 off. Shop interstatedodge.com. No slides? You're the real winner at Interstate Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Fiat in West Monroe. How would you like to consolidate your credit card bills, all loans, medical bills, all your bills into one payment of just $100 per month? That's the power of bankruptcy. If you qualify, just $100 per month. Call the bankruptcy specialist, E. Oram Young. It's time for your Go Nation report, sponsored by Gordon McKernan, injury attorneys. Well, there's no place like home. Here in Baton Rouge, the Southern Jaguars come home for their home opener on Saturday night at A.W. Mumford Stadium. The LSU Tigers, they're back in Tiger Stadium as well. And that kicks off our three keys to the game there for the Bayou Bengals. LSU taking on a winless Northwestern State Demons team. So first things first, keep that jersey on Joe Burrow's back clean. This one really isn't tough. You just got to keep your most valuable players healthy for the stretch run. I'd really be shocked if Burrow comes out of the tunnel in the second half as the starter, which brings me to the next point. Get healthy. Expect no Rashard Lawrence, no Glenn Logan there on the defensive line, no Kayla Von Chase on possibly. And I wouldn't expect much of Michael Divinity there at the linebacker spot as well, which brings me to the final one. Lots of young confidence, and there's a lot of talent at that running back and linebacker spot that are behind those guys who now, of course, get the spotlight, maybe show a little confidence getting some reps there on game day with the lights on. For your Go Nation report in your three keys to the game, here in Baton Rouge, I'm Brian Holland. All right, final look at the seven-day forecast shows mid-90s for highs, morning lows in the low end of the 70s as we head through the weekend. Rain chances are limited. They're not great, so don't get excited about them, but just kind of keep them in the back of your mind just in case. If you run into a shower while you're out this weekend, uh, it won't last long probably, so uh, enjoy it while it lasts. Burn bans remain in place, and those aren't going anywhere, so if you're under a burn ban, heed the burn ban. It's against the law if you don't, and if you're not under a burn ban, probably it's still the best idea to probably wait yeah. until uh, we get some appreciable rainfall because it's pretty dry everywhere. Yeah. You know, we've made it through Friday the 13th almost. Almost. <laughs> That's going to be for us. We'll see you back here on Monday. <laughs>